All right, I'm here with Craig Calfee. Calfee, uh, long known in the hand-built uh, or hand-custom world, really, here. Craig is uh, taking on a new little uh, task here with Bambucero. Tell us about Bambucero and exactly what it's all about. Well, Bambucero is an attempt to bring lower-cost bamboo bikes to the market. Uh, we're, the, the main expense of a bamboo bike is the labor. So with our bikes, we try to source that labor from a place that really needs the jobs, uh, mainly Central Africa. So we have them build the bikes, we import them to the U.S., assemble parts on them, and, and sell them that way. Right on. And what parts of Africa specifically? Are there any... We're, we're working out of Ghana, and very soon we'll be shipping from uh, Uganda. Okay. And all the materials, everything's local and native to those areas, or it's more so the labor? Uh, well, the bamboo comes from, the, from Africa, from the local area. We use a local fiber as well, and we're just now importing a plant-based epoxy. Okay. So we do have to import a couple of things, but uh, most of the content is local. Excellent. What can you yeah. tell us about the bikes that are so special? Is there anything in particular that you... Well, the road bikes are awesome because they perform really well. They're... Um, have incredible vibration damping, mm -hmm. and they, they're light enough to perform a, as a regular race bike. They're incredibly durable and crash tolerant, which makes the mountain bikes especially nice. Certainly. They're, uh, they're cross very bikes as well. Cross bikes, and we also do a city bike. Okay. So it's uh, we have three different models, and we're just about ready to introduce a cargo bike. Excellent. Yeah. What's the biggest obstacle with, with working with bamboo? The working with it isn't so bad. Uh, we've we've figured out all the the weird issues that bamboo has with like splitting and changes mm -hmm. of moisture content. So we've solved those problems. The the new challenge now is convincing the general public that bamboo is an appropriate material for a bicycle mm -hmm. and that it's not going to break and it'll last a long time. I, I'm still riding a bike I made in 1995, okay. a, ba a bamboo bike, my first one which was as a publicity stunt, but it rode so nicely I decided to pursue it and we've been developing bamboo bikes since then. And the epoxy in, in your original bike, everything's still holding up good? Oh yeah, yeah, it's great. And what are the fibers exactly that... Uh, we use a, the local fiber, which is, I don't even know the proper scientific name, but it's used in uh, making rope. It's okay. a local rope fiber. It's very fine. It actually soaks up the epoxy really well, so it's it's actually easier to work with than fiberglass. And it happens to grow out of the ground. <laughs> Excellent. And how about the finish on the bikes? Exactly what is that? that That's a polyurethane. That's uh, They spray cars over there, and they do have access to the good quality polyurethanes. It's pretty much a requirement to seal up the bamboo to prevent uh, changes in moisture content, mm -hmm. which is where the splitting comes from. So, okay. so long as you seal up the bamboo really well, uh, it prevents Should that. Split. Yeah. Excellent. And where do you see bamboo going in the future? Do you think we're going to see it pick up quite a bit? And yeah, one, it's very similar to how carbon fiber progressed. Uh, we started with carbon back in 87, and it took you know 10 years for that to become really well accepted. Certainly, we're hoping that uh, it takes less time for bamboo to become accepted. But uh, as people ride it and realize how nice a ride it is and that it doesn't break and it's very strong, I think people will, will accept it faster. With the, with the internet and, and video interviews like this, people start to learn about it quit more quickly than carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. But people just have to buy one, get on it, and tell their friends about and it. And see for themselves. Excellent. Yeah. Craig, thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too.